The Justice Department is pursuing a criminal investigation of Chinese telecommunications giant Huawei. The Justice Department says Huawei stole trade secrets related to a robotic device under development by T-Mobile. The criminal case originated from a 2014 civil case in Seattle involving T-Mobile and Huawei. An indictment is, we are told, expected soon. Joining us tonight, columnist, author, Asia expert, Gordon Chang. Gordon, great to have you here. Thanks, Lou. Uh, the Huawei, ZTE, their heads rise up uh, again uh, and, and in the worst sorts of ways. Uh, that is, doing again what they've been accused of, stealing, uh, thievery, espionage against the United States uh, and our companies. Yeah. Huawei was formed in 1987. Look, it didn't become the world's largest manufacturer of telecom equipment and the second largest manufacturer of cell phones by actually doing this itself. It had help. It stole a lot of technology from Cisco, obviously from T-Mobile, others that we don't know about. And the Communist Party and the People's Liberation Army supported Huawei. That's what we're competing against, Lou. ZTE is a little bit of a different story, but basically the same narrative. Uh, and it is, again, a narrative that involves espionage against the United States. The theft of our technology, the theft of our intellectual property. And for the life of me, I do not understand why we are negotiating an end to thievery, to uh, the just destruction of our uh, <laughs> of our uh, our defense system uh, by these Chinese companies, yeah, look, which, as you say, are run by the PLA, the yeah. Communist Party. These guys steal hundreds of billions of dollars a year. People argue over how much that is. Some people say 600 billion, some a little bit less. But the point is, they're taking the lifeblood of U.S. innovation, and they're, they're doing it in broad daylight. They're doing it in, in the open, in the clear. And we have no one saying, this is an act of war. Yeah. What the hell would it take to say, this is an act of war? You know, it's only been in the it's last madness. four years that the Justice Department has gone after um, Chinese theft. You know, we saw it in the last two years of the Obama administration. We've seen it in two years of the Trump administration. You know, before that, you know, Chinese companies were stealing the U.S. blind, and nobody was doing anything about it. Report after report over the course of the past two decades about front companies, uh, Chinese front companies, uh, carrying out espionage against our corporations, against our military industrial complex. Nothing happens. Nothing. And the president goes after ZTE and Huawei, his administration, and you could hear President Xi squealing all the way from Beijing. Right. And meanwhile... Uh, the unregistered foreign agents on Wall Street, as uh, Vice President Mike Pence famously called them, are squealing right along with them in defiance of U.S. interest and the Trump administration's uh, goals in balancing trade and ending the theft of intellectual property. This is scurrilous on the part of this uh, corporate establishment. Right. And you hear it all the time, you know, to say, oh, you know, this is Trump's trade war. No, it's not. Trump's this trade. is President Trump seeking a remedy for the theft of U.S. IP. And it's not just us, Lou. You know, the polls, everybody else are now going after Huawei. Yeah. I, I, and by the way, I'm not one of those guys who needs a coalition of the willing to see clearly and to want to get uh, uh, to do the right thing. Uh, I, I am so sick of us needing a partner, a coalition, a multinational approach to when we are absolutely assaulted uh, and ripped off uh, by a trading partner, in this case, a communist trading partner, China, uh, and, and we're supposed to negotiate with these, these characters? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. I mean, the thing is, when you start to look at what the administration has started to do with ZTE, you know, with the seven-year ban. How many companies does that leave the Chinese that we could uh, step up? Uh, these are, think about, we're talking about ZTE and Huawei. How many companies, technology companies, telecommunications companies, advanced technology companies do the Chinese have? I mean, it is a tsunami that could uh, reach across the business, the global business landscape. You know, which it does. You know, you look at the Fortune 500, all so of them. My point them. being, what a, what's the big deal about two of them? Oh. Well, you got to start somewhere. Um, and the one no, thing. We're barely started. Uh, we started, and then the president decided because uh, President Xi uh, begged him uh, to save some jobs, uh, relented. I think what happened on ZTE, Lou, is that Trump said, look, I'm giving you a chance to do the right thing. 
They didn't do the right thing, so we're now going after Huawei. It's not only the Iran sanctions, it's also this criminal probe you just talked about. It's going to be across the board. Militarily, uh, China is making a lot of noises, uh, bellicose, uh, belligerent, uh, threatening, and uh, it, it's almost as if their military commission wants a conflict. Uh, do you think that, first of all, we're going to oblige them, and just how serious a threat is this uh, to the United States right now? This is extremely serious. What's happening inside the Chinese military has become extremely arrogant, extremely bellicose, and now you have Xi Jinping, the ruler of China, is insecure. I think what we're seeing right now is what we saw in the 1930s in Japan, where you had an officer corps go off the rails, take over the political you system. You think it's that bad? I think it's extremely bad. We had our chief of naval operations, our most senior admiral mm -hmm. in Beijing over the weekend. He's talking cooperation with the Chinese, and the Chinese on the other side are talking about killing Americans. 10,000 Americans, one admiral said last month. You know, this is just wrong. When you go over there, you don't say these things. The chief of, of our naval operations, uh, he, to be sitting there patiently listening to uh, these uh, uh, Chinese uh, top officers uh, start talking about Taiwanese independence and tell them what he, they would do if the United States Navy were to intervene in support of Taiwan uh, independence. It's enough to make you want to be sure we do. Uh, intervene in Taiwan independence. Well, absolutely. We do need to tell the Chinese that they've got to back off. But, you know, there's one thing about this meeting. You know, you had Richardson say, look, we need to have dialogue. We need to have cooperation. No. Our problem with China is not dialogue. We have lots of dialogue with the Chinese. Yeah. The problem is Beijing's hostility right now. You know, this, this president was elected by reminding people that talk is cheap and actually doing something is very tough. He's demonstrating how much he can do in two years. And the folks who want to blather uh, need to stay on television and uh, uh, let this president carry on with the job uh, that mercifully he has. Gordon Chang, great to have you here. Thanks, Lou. Thanks so much.